watching too much DVD and not practicing enough DVD. <laughs> I'd gotten to a point with him as a young Colt where I knew that if I pushed any further, I was going to lose my temper. Joke on his nose. Don't move your feet if you can help it. I thought I was going to come here today and Clinton was going to go, wow, mate, you know, you did a great job, man. You must have looked at the DVD. No, he didn't do that. Don't yeah. move me. Don't move me. I'm serious. Okay. I'm, I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when you first see it and first do it, it seems crazy, jumping on a horse bareback and laying on it. Feel a little more relaxed. You know, I've never been on a horse like this. Yeah. I learned that that horse overcame some fears. I overcame some fears. And today, you know, was a great experience. I'm Clinton Anderson, and I have a method for training horses. Getting horses to behave is simple. It's training people that's the real trick. Join me as I tackle some of the most challenging situations with problem horses and with problem owners. Something about the way she's wearing her dress a little tighter. I became aware of Clinton about two years ago when a friend of mine, who I respect a lot, brought his horses to my farm in, in uh, Tennessee. One of my salesmen contacted me and she said, uh, you know, you never who believe who called in today and became a club member and bought the fundamentals kit. And I said, who? And she said, Clay Walker. And I said, Clay who? Heaven help the We were riding together, our two families, and um, my horses were acting like idiots. <laughs> you know, they, they were looking at everything in the woods, thinking that a, you know, some type of monster was about to jump out and get them. And his horses were just, you know. And the funny thing about it is, they were both sets of horses were performance horses. So I was like, wow, you know, I can't blame this on anything other than, you know, he knows something I don't. And she said, Clay Walker, the country music singer. I thought she was just playing with my, you know, pulling my leg and just messing with me. And I said, he did not. And she said, I guarantee he's the guy that just called him. And then that's when he, he said that his horses had a foundation in them that, you know, that he had basically learned from Clinton Anderson's method. One thing led to another. I went to a couple of Clay's concerts and they were outstanding. Very, very I see exactly why he's as popular as he is. And he puts on a hell of a good show. I was Twittering uh, one night and uh, I had tweeted something about Clinton Anderson being the ultimate, you know, horse trainer. And um, all these people started tweeting me back about him that knew him. I didn't realize how big he was, you know, how many people knew him. And uh, from then we just kind of developed a friendship and uh, I really uh, I admire him, his horsemanship goals. My passion really is being on my ranch, enjoying the horses, enjoying my family, and I realized that he was going to be able to help me enjoy it more. Hey, Clinton, good to see you, bud. Good to see you. Listen, Clay, what did you bring down for me to uh, help you with here today, mate? I brought a race cutting horses. Yes. And I brought a little uh, two year old down here that's uh, this by Cats Marauder. Right. Uh, he's bred good. And you know, I've used the Fundamentals uh, series uh, working with my older horses. Yes. So I really wanted to start this colt out right, you know, yeah. and, and give him a good foundation from the very beginning before he started, you know, going into cutting training. Yes. And hoping hoping that that would, you know, facilitate me being able to to ride him anywhere. Most of my friends that come over, you know, are, are music business people yes. that might not know a whole lot about horses. Most yes. of them are novices. You know, keeping my daughters and, and my wife safe, yeah. and my son, you know, that's the biggest thing is to have, res I want to have respectful horses. Yeah. Only. Well, listen, what we're going to do is we're going to take the fundamental level that you've already been studying and we're just going to adapt it to cult starting. A lot of it's very similar, but there is a few things that are a little bit different about, you know, emphasizing the part about safety, making sure you prepare them for the first ride, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to work with your horse this morning and then get him ready to ride and then hopefully you'll be able to ride him and get down on the right track with him. Well, That's listen, under. mate, good to have you at the ranch. Let's get started.
Okay, here's kind of the game plan we're gonna do. Obviously, we wanna get him caught, sat on the rig. But really, what people have got to understand about colt starting, Clay, is that the real secret to it is the preparation. You know, any, any cowboy can get on a horse and buck it out. You know what I mean? Yeah, but that's yeah. not what we're trying to do here, okay? So I always say to people, you know, spend an extra day or two or however many days it takes to prepare the horse so that when we get on, we're safe. Clinton has a saying that I, I believe is true, you know, where knowledge ends, frustration begins. And I was, I was starting to get frustrated. Now we step in front, back, nearly, nearly. There, right yeah. there. <laughs> Good boy. So what I'm gonna do there is just, I'm gonna let him have a little rest here because I want him to associate two eyes with rest. What's your most valuable commodity right now? My valuable commodity <laughs> right now is air. I wouldn't be too smart. You gotta ride this bastard here in a bit. <laughs> I'll be watching if you're peeing down your leg, okay? <laughs> right, so we'll let him have a little bit of air here. You couldn't have picked a better horse to do all of this in one day. He was good-minded, he was quiet, he wanted to be good. You know, he made a few mistakes. That was great for Clay, great for the horse to learn from. You couldn't have picked a better horse. So now what we've got to do, Clay, is we've got to get him not to be frightened of us or our tools, okay? So I'm going to desensitize him with my rope. And we're going to use a method called approach and retreat. I'm going to approach him with the uh, rope, and then his first reaction when he gets scared is to run away. And when he tries to run, I just keep his head tipped towards me, okay? And I just keep following him, but I keep moving the rope. I don't take the rope away from him. And I'm gonna wait for two things to happen. He's gotta stop moving his feet, and the second thing he's gotta do is relax. Okay, he's gotta stop moving his feet. So having Clinton here today, I realized how many steps that I'd actually skipped to try to rush right into that other step. And you can't skip steps, that's why it's called a method. Get ready, keep moving the rope. I'm Mighty, moving it. You can't stop moving the rope until I say. Okay, keep going. That's it, now he's standing still. See, that whole time he was running away from you, he thought that running was the answer. Now retreat and rubbing. That was good. Now the next thing I want you to do is let's desensitize him by spanking the ground with the stick and string. I want you to eventually spank the ground right beside his hind leg. But initially, to get him started, we'll spank further away from him so he doesn't get so frightened. Right. Okay, try it. Start spanking the ground. That's it, faster. Use your whole arm, look at me, look. Yeah, like that, follow him, follow him. Keep following him, that's it, follow him. That's it, keep following him, Clay. Shorten up your lead rope just a little bit. Keep moving the step. That's it. I'd gotten to a point with him as a young colt where I knew that if I pushed any further, I was going to lose my temper. I basically had to throw away and get rid of the ego and understand that, you know, you don't know as much as you think you do. And you're, you're never too old to learn. Keep moving the stick. You're doing good. You're almost there. Keep going. Get him beside him. You're in front of him. Get him beside him. You're nearly there, Clay. Don't quit on me yet. I ain't quitting. <laughs> yeah. Now rub him with the stick. He stood still and relaxed. Rub him there. Man. I'm about to pass out. I know you are. That's why this is so much fun. Step up your horsemanship with the Clinton Anderson Method. Now available in a complete set. Fundamentals starts you on your journey to ultimate control. As you learn to communicate with your horse, earn his trust and respect, and gain control of his body. Intermediate opens the door to ultimate performance as you build on your knowledge to create a safe, willing, and supple partner you control with a feather-light -like touch. And now, all you advance delivers ultimate inspiration to fine-tune your application of the method and reach the highest level of horsemanship. Clinton Anderson offers you the ultimate collection of his wildly popular training method kits at a packaged price.
Righto mate, next exercise is yield the hindquarters stage one. I'm gonna draw a little circle around his front feet here. I want his front feet to stay in this circle and I wanna be able to disengage his hindquarters all the way around. You know, yielding his hindquarters, the horse actually did really well. He was a little dull in the beginning, didn't wanna move his butt, so I had to whack him a few times to wake him up. But then he responded really well. Now I want him to actually turn and face me and give me two eyes, okay? So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go one, two, three, come on. He didn't even remotely try to give me two eyes. He wasn't even in Does the Does this work tent. on people too? <laughs> It doesn't work on uh, women or children, okay? Works on husbands real good. I want to be able to ride a horse anywhere. So desensitizing is a big thing to me. I, want, I don't want my horse to be scared of anything. But I noticed that when Clinton was asking the horse to yield his hindquarters, he was lazy. He wouldn't get out of the way. But that in itself was one of the most important steps that there is because if he won't yield his hindquarters, if he gets spooked or scared and he doesn't yield those hindquarters, what do I have? I have nothing. But rub him longer between the eyes. Stay there longer. That's the whole reward there. So if you don't reward him long enough, he won't do it. Yeah, I've been anticipating this day for a long time. I expected the colt to act a whole lot different. But with, uh, with Clinton's method, following the method exactly, I learned how fast a horse could progress. Put your hand up by his head. Hand up by his head. Oh, I see. That wasn't his fault. You dropped your hand down. Get in there. But you I'm got... in there. Get in there. I wasn't sending um, absolute signals to the horse. In other words, you know, when it came time to point, you know, I was a little lazy in a lot of areas and Clinton really stepped up, you know, stepped up my personal training. You know, I needed to get right before I could expect results from the horse. Get in there. There. See, all that pushiness will, will, will go away from him, Clay, as he gets broker. Does that make sense? That's all just green stuff. I thought I was gonna come here today and Clinton was gonna go, wow, mate. You know, you did a great job, man. You must have looked at the DVD. No, he didn't do that. He pointed out the mistakes I was making, and, and you know, honestly, there were quite a few. So I felt a little bit humiliated, but at the same time, you know, you got to strip that down and learn. So I say learn step by step by step, and then you have the method correctly. Now pull it to your belly button and step towards his tail at the same time. But the stick's in the wrong way. No, the stick's fine, but you should have stepped towards his butt, but he already helped you anyway. Oh. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, he caught on quick. the horse is smarter than me. Smarter <laughs> oh, no, no. That's all right. Okay. Well, I want to go the other way though. Don't worry. Just you just ignore me. Do whatever the hell you want. No, okay? I, I just so, wanted to get it right. You know, okay. Well, listen, I, did, I didn't just, drive 720 miles to not get it all right. Okay. Well, I'm telling you, you're not going to get it all right in one one time. Okay. Now swing the stick three times. One, two, three. Now walk. Because if you don't walk, you'll be in front of a drive line. Gotcha. You've got to walk now. Hold the stick correctly. You've got to walk now. Uh, Is there uh, anything that escapes your eye? Because no. I mean, that, that's... Because, because if you don't walk, you'll be in front of his drive line, so you'll be telling him to stop. That's why you have to move once he gets going. Now, you yield his hindquarters. Let's quit on that. Excellent job, Clay. Check out our latest catalog from Down Under Horsemanship. It's filled with beautiful imagery and in-depth information on all the products used in this show. Visit our website or call this number and we'll send it to your door free of charge.
gonna have you do the Jeffries method. I'll see if I can kind of instruct you to do it, okay? Okay. So, put this rope uh, kind of in your hand just like that, and just, but, but before you start jumping, just go over there and lean all over him like you're drunk. Lean over his withers like you've been drinking. Just kind of lean your body weight on him, you know what I mean? That's it. And rub him on the neck there, that's it. Don't jump just yet, just kind of lean on him. Now stand up and just rub him now, retreat. That's like that. Now get on him and lean on him again. Clinton had me get on him, he said if he moves, don't let go when I put my elbows over. You know, a couple times I just kind of let go and then got back on. I was releasing pressure at the wrong time. So I was putting myself in danger by not following the method. One, one two. two, three, four, one. Just keep jumping nonstop. But see, you... <laughs> Look, I'm doing one, two, three, four, one. I'm get, doing higher get, on the one. Give me the damn lead, bro. I'm doing higher. I'll wrap this so much around your neck. I'm, <laughs> do, I'm doing higher on the one. Get out of the road. Yeah, watch this. Just jump with rhythm. You're doing this. <laughs> And then you Is this on it. camera? <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, just do this, look. One, two, three, four, one. Just jump with rhythm. It is not hard to do, okay? So just jump with rhythm. All right. <laughs> right Are you sure you aren't Kendra Richard Simmons? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know you want to have your own dance class. <laughs> right, I go. Just jump with rhythm. Okay, white boy, now you got some rhythm. Now you're doing good. Now retreat and rub it. That was much better. One, two, three. Okay. Now swing your legs back and forth more. That's it. Now swing all the way on top of him and lay on him. Lay on him. Oh, sh <laughs> <laughs> All right. Put your knees together. Now wait a second. I don't trust it this much. <laughs> Put your knees. He's crazy. Easy. Easy. Put your knees together. This is. <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> Nancy boy, just relax. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to soak this old lady. No, <laughs> I'm serious, this is... <laughs> yeah, listen, Whether you want, get back, get your ass back up, get a hold of him. <laughs> I've got this wild horse. I, you better I know listen, buddy. You better not buck, because I'm telling you what, i got a hold of you. <laughs> now start rubbing him with your hands and relax. I'm, I'm barely hanging up. Don't move my hand. I'm barely holding on. <laughs> well, you're just laying on the horse. He's like a big carpet. Put your Let, knees Don't together. move me. Don't move me. I'm serious. Okay. I'm, I'm, I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> okay. Right. All right. I did not want to get on that horse because I felt like if I fell over on the side, he may run by and kick me in the head. You know, I was thinking of the worst possible things, but what I didn't understand was that if you do all the other stuff right before you try that step, then that most likely is not gonna happen. Yeah, start rubbing it. I'm rubbing it. Now. Don't it, walk off, he's gonna <laughs> Well, I can obviously see he's a runaway. Like any second, the <laughs> is gonna explode. <laughs> okay, so I feel like a cat. <laughs> I've swallowed more hair. <laughs> Right now, the wind is blowing 100 and he's shedding. Perfect timing. <laughs> Look at my tongue. <laughs> I know, I never want to see a man's hairy tongue, okay? So just stay on the horse, rub the horse, okay? I'm rubbing. Right, you're rubbing. Now start to rub back around his belly more. There you go, look at him. He's in, he's in a coma. Look at this thing, he's just stuck. He, he's about to fall asleep of old age. Oh, I love that. See him put his head down? That's great. That's really good. There. Now slide off. See when he drops his head, that's a good sign of him relaxing. Do you want me to do the other side or you want to do it? <laughs> I'll, take that. I'll take that as a sign. When you first see it and first do it, it seems crazy, jumping on a horse bareback and laying on it. And, and I tell people it, it looks scary, but in reality it's very, very safe. It's only unsafe when you separate your legs because now you're riding it. And if the colt takes off, you're going to squeeze him with your legs and he's going to dump you quicker. You're just laying on the horse like a piece of wood. And by keeping your knees together, if the colt would jump, you just slide off and land on your feet. It's only bad when you separate your knees. Okay? Because my knees are together, all I, all I do is this. Does that make sense? When I saw uh, my buddy, uh, Chris Cagle, you know, we, we're always trying to out Clinton Anderson each other. You know, when he comes to my farm in Tennessee, <laughs> he's always trying to tell me what I'm doing wrong. I'm always trying to tell him what he's doing wrong. Clinton didn't do it this way. And it's funny to listen to two country music singers talk about Clinton Anderson. But as I saw him, you know, get, do the Jeffries method, um, I was laughing at him. But when it was my turn to do it, you know, um, uh, there were some things running down my leg, you know, so it was a little different. <laughs>
once I realized that, you know, I had to put, I had to remember what it was like when I first did it. And everything he went through was exactly what I went through when I did it. You know, the same thing Chris Kager went through. All of them go through it. But it doesn't take more than five minutes of practicing and pretty soon he's got it like an expert. You know what I mean? He's rubbing the horse all over. He's relaxed, the colt's relaxed. That's one exercise that really gets the, that, that gets the horse and the handler bonding quicker than anything. You know, and they ended absolutely perfect. That's it. So how do you feel about jumping on him now? Do you feel a little more relaxed? Yeah, because he is. Well, he was, he was <laughs> never know. nervous about I it. Know, though, I know, I know. No, I was, you know, I've never been on a horse like this. Yes, it's different, isn't it? Different you know? feel, yeah, you know? Yeah, I've never seen anybody else on a horse like this. Honestly, I think the horse and I bonded at that point a whole lot more. I, I lost the fear and anxiety of actually getting, I thought the saddle was going to be easy at that point. And, and I, I think that following the method, if you look at it, that was one of the key moments, you know, losing that fear to get on that horse's back and lay there and bond with the horse and rub on the horse. Okay, mate, go ahead and slide off. Good job, mate. Excellent job. Give, give him a rub there. If you'd like more information made on any of the products you've seen on today's show, click on our website at downunderhorsemanship.com and we'll send you a free catalog, mate.